Hi everyone. So I decided to make a hints and tips video. Um, so this is my tips for success slash progress for the division. Now you're probably already familiar with certain tips like holding circle will vault you over something while you are running. Another thing you will also know is you press circle to get up onto a ledge or something like that. Um, I'm not sure if I can get up on that one. I can't. And then when you drop down, you will see it says circle there. And you just drop straight down. But, if I am on a ledge, as you can see there's a ladder here for a purpose, and I decide to jump down, you can see an exclamation mark right above the circle button. So what happens is, if you keep an eye on the health bar to the right there, you break your fucking legs! So just bear that in mind when you are jumping down and stuff, look for ladders or other ways down. But you know if you have a lot of people with you, you can all just jump down and use a support station or a heal, something like that. Um, rather than using your medikits, it's better to use the skills so you can get that back up. You may also be aware that if you climb a ladder, you will see that he goes pretty slow up and down the ladder. But, if you climb a ladder and you click the left thumbstick in, he climbs up a lot faster. And on the way down, in fact, if you hold it, he will slide down it. One thing you may not be aware of is doors that can be opened shine. So if you're just running around, um, you will see doors around places. but only when you get close to them and they shine, they bright up like this, then you can go inside which will then lead you to well just basically different places for loot and things like that so always go through the houses as you can see inside here I've just uh, run up this house um, so this is shiny as well basically anything that shines is what you can interact with so I've got some trendy worn out jeans, which I'm probably not going to use, but um, that's no bother. Another thing to note, actually, um, is clothing that you get doesn't add to your inventory um, weight. So, you know, you'll have a limit of 30 out of 30 or something like that, and then you're full, but clothing doesn't add to that. Sometimes you will go through a house and there will be nothing there, but then there will be, say, a window like this, but it will have nothing covering it. If you go outside there it will lead you to a rooftop and then usually on that rooftop is some kind of um, item. There will be a box or something like that. See here I just found a survival guide. So I'm not sure what happens when you collect all of these but you know always worth checking them out and I will tell you soon how you can get all of them. Civilians in need, um, if you ever walk up and it scans a civilian and then you walk up it will say give one canned food or give one medipack or something like that. So if we do this Seems you will like see you will get some experience for it. They will likely give you an item of clothing which um, I'm not sure if they do give you armour or not but it's worth doing it just for the experience. It might only be a tiny bit. But you know, you can always restock on medipacks or canned food and stuff. So there are a few basic tips um, that you may or may not know. And what we're going to do now is just look at some of the other tips and tricks that you might not know that will help you a lot. So the first thing I want to talk about is upgrading the base. As you can see, I have unlocked things already and I have supplies to spend. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about the order you could do this in, not that you should do it in, but an order that could certainly help you. Now, when you are looking what's to upgrade, whether it's the medical wing, the tech wing, or the security wing, um, go into your ability section and you can see I've unlocked certain things. So. Each upgrade for each section will unlock a new skill. So just have a look and see what it is that you want. 
and then you know basically what you're going to focus on because if you go into the map if you look on the right hand side it tells you where it says missions you have main mission medical main mission security main mission and tech main mission so all you have to do is look for these on the map so as you can see there's one right here that I have already done so that's a tech mission and what happens is when I do that I get experience and I get credits and I also get resources for that particular wing so that one will give me tech resources if I go here and this one I haven't done um, that one will give me security resources uh, I'm not sure if there's any yeah there's one there for the medical so for that one I will get medical resources so the encounters are exactly the same that one will give me medical wing supplies I don't know why I was calling them resources um, same thing uh, that one will give me tech wing supplies and that one will give me security wing supplies so just plan accordingly what you are going to do like have a look in your skill trees and things and see what kind of skills that you want to use so back onto the skills that you want to use um, just have a look so you know pulse is one that I still always use Generally the reason I'm using that is because the people I'm playing with have already got things like support station. One of them even has the recovery link, um, which is what I've been working up to. But you can only get these in order. So as you can see here, I'm in the medical wing. The first one you get is the clinic, which gives you the first aid skill. Um, you know, useful. Uh, the second one gives you the support station. and. The third one gives you the disaster rate. Now I can't get that, and as you see in the requirements, until I have the clinic upgrade and the virus lab, which are the two prior to that. So just make sure when you are looking through your skills that you know the direction you need to take so you're not just getting, say, a thousand supplies to try and get a skill um, and then realising that you need double that because you have to unlock the two prior to that. Now if you're just starting out, um, a good thing to do is just basically have a look down at everything as I mentioned and see what you want. But specifically there is this one called counselling. So this is a very good one to do because as well as it giving you different talents, it's actually the perk reward that we want here. So as you can see, it says increase credit gains by 10%. So I'm going to upgrade that now. Perfect. You will get credits for missions and then you'll get credits for selling. So 10% extra makes a big difference over time. And the next thing that is always good is as soon as you unlock the security wing, you have this one called situation room, which gives you smart cover skill. It reinforces a cover increasing the user's damage and decreasing the incoming damage for all allies behind it. As soon as I unlock that or upgrade it, you can see the perk, which is Experienced Agents. It increases XP gain from all activities by 10%. So in short, if you want to level up faster, you really want that one. Um, so make that the first thing and then just have a look down and see you know what things you want so just to recap have a look at all the skills that you feel you will want to use and then have a look at all the talents um, another reason I went for security is because I wanted this talent right here damage multiple hostiles with an explosion to apply 40% more damage from the blast now when you get to the higher stages of the game you will find clusters of enemies um, maybe three or four of them and if you preempt your attack then you can do a lot of damage with these grenades now imagine if two people at the same time threw the grenade then you pretty much got a very easy fight there so there's all different talents and you can only have one talent to start with when you unlock it and then you get different slots unlocked so level 25 I think the second one is level 15 and then 
slot unlocks at 100% on the medical wing so you know it gives you an incentive to do that first but don't worry about doing that first it's up to you how you do it the next thing you get from the other things is perks as you can see I've got quite a lot of perks right now um, I've got this one increase incendiary bullets effect duration by 10 seconds which is really useful if you're using that um, collect fabrics in the medical wing once per hour that one I like because it can be in handy but it depends how often you are coming back if you're not coming back that often then you know what it might not really be any good to you so just pick and choose which ones you want and then go into the specific wing and see how much it costs to get it and you know it's not that hard really it's, as soon as you do the encounters and the missions you can get these pretty quick okay guys unfortunately that is the end of the video the reason is I'm trying to keep them relatively short so they don't go on forever but I like to be descriptive with my videos as you can see in the background now um, there is tips on using the crafting station so I will have more videos coming including tips on safe houses using skills in groups things like ammo buffs and your weapon and armor levels your skills and your stats so I hope the video has been useful to you I am Scotty Kins and I will see you soon have a good one.